Welcome to the Transform Your Wedding Podcast, a how-to guide for taking your wedding to a whole new level. Here's your host, Marie Kubin from Rent My Wedding. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. Today's episode is Wedding Lighting 101. Learn 10 types of lighting in 10 minutes. So I'm super excited for this episode because I love lighting. It's just one of those things that really transforms a venue. Why should you know about wedding lighting? I know what you're probably thinking. I mean, isn't that the whole point of hiring a lighting company? Well, think about it this way. If you go to a restaurant, you don't just order Mexican food, right? No, you order fajitas or enchiladas. And the same should hold true for wedding lighting. You should be able to order exactly what you want and only pay for what you need. The secret is to speak the language. All you need to do is learn 10 words. And once you do that, you'll be able to get exactly what you want to make your wedding vision come to life. So let's jump right in and we'll go over 10 types of wedding lighting. Number one is uplighting. Uplighting adds a glow of color to the room. This is my number one favorite type of lighting because it makes such a big impact. It really just sets the mood. The way it works is that you place the small lights on the floor up against the wall and they light up the walls from floor to ceiling. You can set them to pretty much any shade of any color. This is definitely a staple for any event. Number two is gobo. That's G-O-B-O. But I like to call it monogram lighting because that's just easier. So monogram lights put your names or monogram in lights. You can project this behind the head table or on the dance floor. The way it works is that you use a special gobo projector that has a little disc inside customized with your design. All you have to do is just set it on a table, plug it in and point it wherever you want to display the monogram. This is a great way to personalize your venue. Number three is pin spotting. This is also called pin lights or pin spots. And basically what these are, are tiny little lights that illuminate centerpieces and the wedding cake. Think of it kind of like if you took a flashlight and shined it right down on top of the cake or the flowers. And the reason you want to think about doing pin spotting is because in the venue, the overhead lights are usually dimmed. So you want to make sure that all of your gorgeous details don't get lost. Pin spotting is going to really make them pop. And it's also great for photos because all those details will really stand out in your wedding photos. Number four is texture lighting. Texture lights are also done with gobos, but this one is a large format. So it's going to cover a big area like an entire wall or the whole ceiling or the whole floor. Now with these kind of lights, you can add patterns or textures of light. And it's really cool if you're doing a certain theme. So let's say you're doing an enchanted forest theme. You could use texture lights to project an actual forest on the wall. And you can do other things too, like just abstract patterns or designs in different colors. And it really adds some dimension to the venue. So texture lighting is a great way to be a little different and add some texture and personality to your venue. Number five is string lights. Now, this is probably the most familiar type of wedding lighting. Of course, these are the strings with the bulbs that hang in the air. And if you've ever seen the ones with little tiny bulbs, those are called fairy lights. Now, string lights and fairy lights both look great if you hang them up overhead, indoors or outdoors. And you could also use them with linens. So they look nice with table linens or a linen backdrop behind the sweetheart table or the photo booth. Okay, so we're halfway done and the next three are going to go super quick because they're all types of special effect lighting. Number six is bliss light. 
Now, I like to call this one Starry Night Lighting because I'm all about keeping it simple. So, Starry Night Lighting creates a realistic night sky effect on the ceiling. It's going to have slowly moving clouds and tiny little dots of stars. And it just really looks gorgeous if you want to have the effect of dining and dancing under the stars. Number seven is water effect lighting. As you can probably guess from the name, this one creates the effect of moving water. It's perfect if you have a special theme like under the sea or a beach theme. Number eight is black lights. These are also called UV lights. Now, you've probably seen these before. These are what make everything glow in the dark. And I know you're wondering, why would I include this in a wedding lighting roundup, right? But we're actually seeing more and more couples use black lights for the reception because it creates such a fun effect for the dance floor. So the bride's dress is going to completely glow under the black light and it just kind of shakes things up a little bit and adds a fun twist for the dance party at your reception. Number nine is moving heads. These are also called party spotlights or disco lights. These create patterns of light that move all around the room. You can set them to change patterns and colors to the beat of the music, or you can even do a special light show. This is a great way to add energy to the dance floor. And we're almost done. Number 10 is spotlight. So a spotlight highlights the couple on the dance floor. It's very similar to that pin spot we were talking about, but those are very narrow beams of light and the spotlight is a big beam of light. So you can use it to follow the couple around the dance floor during the first dance. And it's a great way to make a really dramatic entrance. So those are 10 types of wedding lighting. Now, just to make sure that you've got it mastered, I'm going to do a quick cheat sheet just to make sure you can remember everything. So here we go. Up lighting adds color. Monogram lighting puts names and lights. Pin spotting makes things pop. Texture lights create patterns. String lights are big, fairy lights are tiny. Special effects can be done with starry night lighting, water effect lighting, and black lights. Moving heads add energy to the dance floor, and spotlights make the first dance dramatic. So now you know 10 types of wedding lighting. I hope that now you can speak the language of lighting, you can go out and get exactly what you want to make your wedding look amazing. Now, if you wanna check out some photos, you can head over to our website at rentmywedding.com. We've got pictures and videos from real weddings using all these different types of lighting. So it's a great way to really get a better idea and get some ideas for how you can use lighting. Now, if you are a couple planning a wedding, be sure to check out our episode about how to hire a lighting vendor. And if you're a wedding professional, we've got an episode about how to have a side hustle with wedding lighting. And don't forget, we have all those other episodes about each type of lighting, and those go into more detail like how to estimate quantity, where to put the lights in the venue, and how to set them up yourself. So you can learn a lot by going through each of those episodes. You can find all of our podcast episodes in audio version and YouTube videos. And we've got all those links for you on our podcast website, which is transformyourwedding.com. All right. Well, if you guys have any questions, definitely get in touch. I would love to hear from you. My email is marie at transformyourwedding.com. And don't forget, please subscribe to the podcast and leave us a review. We'd really appreciate it. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening and I will see you next time. This podcast is brought to you by Rent My Wedding, your one-stop shop for event rentals. Order online and rentals are delivered right to your door. Shipping is free both ways nationwide. Rent lighting, backdrops, photo booths, and more. With the most five-star reviews in the industry, Rent My Wedding makes rentals easy and affordable. Book your rentals today at www.rentmywedding.com.